What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of this gun f***ing rocks and this time we're taking a look at this Storm Sniper Rifle. The Storm is a dedicated drop from Kanagawa Jr. at the end of Atlas HQ with no mayhem or DLC requirements. This gun can also world drop meaning it can be obtained randomly from any enemy, from chest, the diamond loot room, or even vending machines etc etc. The special ability of this gun is that it shoots a fast projectile that deals shock splash damage and then spawns four shock orbs. The orbs will float around in the air around enemies and deal continuous shock damage to them for six seconds. The continuous shock damage does not, however, do any kind of splash damage. The storm will always be shock elemental and will always consume two ammo per shot. The splash radius is always locked in at 250 as well. The best parts to look for on the sniper rifle if you're trying to min-max would be charge speed and damage, maybe mag size depending on your vault hunter of choice. Now the storm has received four buffs since launch and each one has pushed the sniper to be one step closer to greatness with this most recent buff finally hitting that sweet spot. Even though the most recent buff was just a flat 20% damage buff across the board for all sniper rifles, the Storm was one of the ones that actually saw the greatest improvement overall because of the buff. This gun is a phase lock Amara dream weapon, but even though Amara can shred, the other Vault Hunters can absolutely have a ton of fun with this gun as well. Surprisingly enough, one of the worst overall annoyments in the game is actually pretty amazing on this gun, the Elemental Crit Nova 500% status effect damage annoyment, but ultimately you can use basically any anointment with this this gun and feel extremely strong now. I'm currently in this video using the face grasp 150% damage anointment for example. There's something very satisfying about using this gun now. I don't know what it is. It just feels really nice to like aim down sights, pop somebody in the head, watch them explode, and then watch enemies nearby take shock damage as well. This obviously helps keep your pearl of ineffable knowledge going. It also helps with other things where you're trying to stack damage. A kill stack anointment would be a lot of fun with this thing as well now that I'm thinking about it. It's nice to have multiple very powerful sniper rifle options in Borderlands 3, especially ones that have such wild and interesting gimmicks. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please make sure to hit the like button, tap subscribe, tickle the bell icon to be notified when I post another episode. Let me know in the comment section down below what gun you would like to see next on this series. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.